Hello everyone, this is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and today we are going to learn how to insert those buttons that we made in the previous tutorial into our Flash file. So let's see those buttons that we made in Photoshop. So if you're following along with me, you should have one Photoshop file and three PNG files. Now I renamed my Photoshop file. If you haven't done this yet, just find your Photoshop file and go File, Save As, Navigate to your default images folder and just call it something like button underscore template. You can call it whatever you want and then save it. So then you should also have a next underscore button dot PNG, a pause underscore button dot PNG, and a previous underscore button dot PNG. So if you have all these things that we can insert it into Flash. So let's open up Flash. And here we have our fading images slideshow as you can see. So let's import our three buttons. So go file, import, import to library. Find your three buttons in your default images folder and highlight all three of them by hitting command or control and click open. So now that they're in your library, your library might have done something like regenerated this as symbols already. So if you go into your library, and yes it did, it made extra symbols for us. It made next underscore buttons, it put these in here, but then it made symbols of these buttons already. We do not want flash to do this. We want to delete all of these symbols. So if this also happened to you, delete these symbols by just highlighting them and clicking delete, delete, delete. So you should just have next underscore button, pause underscore button, and previous underscore button. So if you have that, let's go to the next step. So now what we want to do is we want to lock all of the layers that we've made. So lock all of them by clicking this uh, little dot right here to lock all those layers, then come to your top layer and create a new layer. Double click whatever layer name it gave it and call it button. Let's call it buttons and click enter. So this is the layer where our buttons are going to go. So let's drag those buttons onto the stage. So drag your previous button onto the stage. Drag your pause button onto the stage. Try that one more time. There we go. And drag your next button onto the stage. So now we want to modify and convert these to symbols like we had before, but we want to make them button symbols. They weren't buttons before, so they wouldn't have worked. So that's why we have to do them ourselves. So let's click the previous button and go modify, convert to symbol, make your type button, and then let's change it to PREV underscore BTN. So previous button and click OK. Now let's click the pause and go modify, convert to symbol, and let's call this one um, pause underscore btn and your type should immediately already be button and let's click OK and then let's do the last one modify convert to symbol and let's call this one next underscore btn and click OK now let's zoom in and get these aligned nice and good so let's uh, let's zoom in to 800 zoom so that we can just see the buttons and let's highlight all three of these buttons and go modify, align, and let's go distribute widths, and then modify, align, distribute heights. So this works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't work. If it didn't work for you, you can just move these around until they look pretty good. And this is totally up to you. You can put these buttons on the left side of your screen. You can put them on the right side of your screen. I'm not going to make you do any specific thing, but you just need to get it so that you're happy with the way that they look. So I'm going to try that align one more time and see if they can distribute a little better this time. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you just have to use your eyes with this. Okay, so let's go back to 100 zoom and see how this is looking. Let's fit it in the window. And now we have our three buttons. So if we wanted to move those over a little bit, we can just highlight all three of them and move them over. So now that we have the buttons on our um, timeline, in the next tutorial we are going to learn how to make these buttons actually work. So when you click the next button, go to the next image. So thank you for watching. This has been Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and stay tuned for the next tutorial.